Kelsey, I gotta get your shoes. <laughs> They're amazing. All right, we are getting set up right now. Do you pay the trailer? Hi, Cupra, you're next. Oh my gosh, so my Kelsey has brought the goods. We have black and thinner. We've got some foaming cup cleaner, some prep spray, some self-etching primer, and then of course our actual primer primer. We're in mask off in front of you. <laughs> oh good, yes. Yeah, remember in, uh, <laughs> like at camp, you know? Yes, I do remember that. When you're under like the giant, what the is it? Parachute. Yes, the giant parachute. I don't actually own a paint gun, so I had to I had to phone a friend. This is perfect for your weekend warrior DIY wire. You get two different guns. You get a regular size or full size gun and a touch up. Ooh. Multiple tips. It comes with a six month warranty. And you can't really get parts and pieces for it, but that's why it's in that budget about 230, 250 bucks for that whole kit. Plastic is down. Alrighty, this is where we're at so far. We've got everything taped up, including the zebra. You've got tape on the ground. <laughs> We've got tape on the, I don't know what Megan's doing over there, but Megan's doing something. I got friends helping me because I'm not a very good painter. Also, look at all this. This took so long to prep. Thankfully, sandblasting really helped. And we just wiped everything down with our lacquer thinner and our prep spray. And now we're moving on to the self-etching primer. Now the biggest challenge is gonna be not dripping sweat on what we've primed. It's incredibly hot right now, but I really wanna start actually using this trailer and putting it to work like for real, and I wanna get a floor in it. So we are just gonna paint in the middle of the Texas heat wave, and we're gonna see what happens. And if we have to redo it, then we'll redo it. No big deal. <laughs> Checking the pattern. Okay. Let's, oh. let's see. He got okay. That's perfect. So you got like a four-inch pattern, and okay. so just be mindful of that. Usually eight to ten inches from the substrate, so I always just use my hand. Allow it to dry two minutes between. but now it's protected because I'm gonna be headed to All Girls Garage for the next week and we're gonna be having some thunderstorms. So if we didn't get primer on this, all of this would have rusted again and then I would have had to blast it again. So, oh my gosh, I am so stoked on the outcome and I'm so grateful for my friends. Oh,
you do in Kels with that? It's a tack rag. So I'm just gonna go over it since we took a nice little snack break. We did. Make sure you got all the little fuzzies off of it. So you don't ever want to push with a tack rag because you don't want to push that tackiness into the paint job itself. Okay. So you just drag it. So it's super light. Yeah. And this is picking up any dust, wind that might have settled. There's just like little baby dust bunnies that I can grab with this. Ew. So we're about to lay our first coat of paint of the actual color I'm gonna be choosing. I'm gonna turn the fan off. All right, it's a scorcher today, so we are all sacrificing for my filming for just a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, girls. Um, so we've got the paint here that I'm gonna be using. I wanna start out with this concrete gray color because it actually reminds me of one of my favorite colors that I painted my Volkswagen Rabbit, which is a Toyota color called Cement. So we're gonna do this first as the base. And then we've got this Sandstorm Tan and Commander Green. That's right, we're going camo, people. We are going to be actually making some of our own um, camo shapes and designs. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Kelsey is the best camera person I've ever had. <laughs> Okay, two days have passed since the last clip you saw of us painting the crappy trailer. And uh, yes, it is still, ah, super, it is still raining. Oh, uh, actually it broke for a little bit today. And so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna let the trailer dry off. And then I'm gonna come and uh, you know do my accent coats and everything. That's right, this, this is not the final color, people. Um, but then it started raining again. Thankfully, like the thunder and lightning just stopped and the downpour stopped, but it's still like, misting and there's supposed to be scattered thunderstorms for the rest of the day. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna paint the wheel wells with the truck bed liner so that I can at least get the wheels back on and then I can roll it back a little bit further because what I noticed was the roof here, this leaks terribly. But in the back where there's nothing, it does not leak. So, um, I mean, who knew that painting indoors, you'd have to worry about the weather. Um, I mean, I knew there's like gonna be a little bit of a humidity issue, but uh, that's right. This is this is totally at home DIY, y'all. There, there is a, and let me just say that this paint has held up awesome. So you can see the water spots here. And so I am gonna sand. This is obviously gonna get more of a coat. And then here, right here is where the biggest leak was just pounding the darn thing. And it looks, Great, so all right, and yeah, speaking of the next thing, I've got this truck bed coating. So that's what I'm gonna be putting in the wheel wells. 
And since I've already painted everything, obviously I don't want to use the lacquer thinner to clean the surfaces. I'm going to scuff and then I'm going to use this foaming prep cleaner. It smells really nice like oranges. <laughs> but also, one thing I noticed about this is it actually doesn't damage the paints at all, so that must be what it's for. I'm clearly not a professional, people, but <laughs> it's still possible. All right, so I'm going to get to it and uh, I'm going to tape up and paint these wheel wells. Yeah. the bed liner on now and I've got all of my concrete sprayed and next up on the docket is sandstorm tan which kind of fits with Texas so uh all right about to about to pour and spray <laughs> oh my god it looks so good it looks oh my god I mean not to be biased or anything but um, my camo skills are like no other, y'all. Look at this. I am so stoked on it. I am so stoked on it. All right, I think I'm good with tan right now. And I'm gonna let this dry. Oh yeah, this is so good. This is so good. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. And then next up we have the Commander Green. And this is gonna be a little bit less freeform and it's gonna be more stencil. So that's why I'm gonna let this dry. And now like the beauty of this lacquer is that it dries so fast, especially in this Texas heat. So I'm not really gonna have to wait too long um, to put my stencils on, but while I'm waiting, I'm gonna make a few more stencils. So uh, this is this is great. This is so fun. This is This is awesome. I recommend anyone do camo if you are unsure about your paint skills and if you think you're gonna mess it up, this paint scheme is for you. Last night's aftermath. <laughs> Look how awesome these stencils are. Oh, I love Megan's snake. I was not expecting that. So check out the trailer. This is out of control how good it is. Oh my God, I surprised myself with my painting skills and <laughs> I showed up to start this. I forgot the card for my camera, but I just didn't want to stop because I was on such a roll and I was feeling so good about how everything was turning out. Look at this camo. Oh, I'm sorry people, this is the best $100 trailer I've ever seen in my life. All right, so now time for some accents. And for my accents, I'm gonna be using this acrylic lacquer. No recoat window, easy to use, ideal for metal. Interior, exterior, perfect. We're going with this. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make some little accents with my stencils, uh, maybe combine some, and I'm going to uh, like make some spikes and stuff. So I took Megan's aloe and just offset it a little bit. So that's what we're gonna get for one of our accents with the rattle can. The aftermath. <laughs> Stencil. And you can see my nifty shading. <laughs> 
So I'm here at my local O'Reilly Auto Parts. And one of the awesome things about this paint is that they just stock it at any one of these stores. So I'm gonna go get the clear coat that I need for tomorrow. All right, so after all of my painting experience, I've been feeling really good about my own ability to paint. So I was telling Kelsey, ah, Kelsey, um, that I'm gonna do the clear today. And she was like, um, by yourself. And I was like, yeah, Kelsey, you gave me all this confidence in my painting abilities. She was like, clear's a little bit of a different animal. For starters, we've got these much larger suits on because it tends to be a little bit more messy, she was saying, and we're gonna get it everywhere. But for these lovely folks at home, Kelsey, I know, your shoes, oh, your sorry. amazing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Is there anything the average person getting ready to paint something like this should know like difference about clear coat to the point where you felt like you wanted to be with me today and help me yes. out? You usually use a hardener and the hardener contains isocyanates which attach to anything that has moisture. So I really want to stress a lot of PPE. Nostrils, eyeballs, ear holes, mouth, everything. Cover everything up because it will attach to that and then you also don't want to get it in your lungs. Yeah. So. No, exactly. So we That's got we got the thing. good stuff. Kelsey's got the good stuff. Even though we're doing this open, we're still, you know, we're still being super safe about it. We have this gloss clear coat ready to spray lacquer. They also had a sparkly one that I was really interested in, but I just didn't want to lose my amazing drawings. We don't want to muddy the waters here. So we've obviously got a great design going on. It's time to just protect it with our clear coat. So, all right, looks like, looks like we're getting ready. When you put on clear, you want it glossy. And it's so textured, I'm like, oh my god! The it's trailer fine. itself is pretty textured. <laughs> You're just like, what? I don't know. It looks like a whipped cream dollop. <laughs> 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 Okay, so I gotta say that the clear coat really brought out this green. Like it just made it so much deeper. It must look so good on the camera. I know it looks really good on the camera. I'm not sure, like my painting skills aren't the best, so there's some runs in it, but it's camo, so you're not gonna be able to see it anyway. I'm all about this. This looks so good. 